Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize many features of the spelling and grammar tool. To view the proofing options for Word, you can click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Options command in the list at the left side of the Backstage view. You can then click the Proofing category at the left side of the Word Options dialog box. In the When Correcting Spelling in Microsoft Office Programs section, click the check boxes next to the displayed options in order to turn them on or off. A check in the box indicates that an option is selected or enabled. Following this section, there are two other sections for options that apply to Word only, the When Correcting Spelling and Grammar in Word section and the Exceptions for section. You can check or uncheck the check boxes here to set additional default spelling and grammar options for Word. Notice the Recheck Document button. Normally, Word accepts that you have properly corrected the document once you have finished your spelling check and does not spell check the document twice. If you have checked your current document once, but made mistakes with the replacements, then you must reset Word's spelling and grammar tool by clicking this button to prompt Word to recheck the document and recheck words that it previously checked but that you chose to ignore. Another useful feature of Microsoft Word is the autocorrect feature. All users mistype or misspell words. There may be words that you seem to frequently mistype. Word provides the autocorrect feature to help you automatically correct common misspellings of words. For example, if you commonly mistype the word the as T-E-H, autocorrect can automatically replace that misspelling as you type. To view the autocorrect feature, click the autocorrect options button that appears in the autocorrect section at the top of the Word Options dialog box. That will open the autocorrect dialog box. Click the Autocorrect tab to set or change the autocorrect options for Word. Here you can either add a plain text or formatted text entry for your autocorrect entry. So if your company's name is always in 16 point to home a font and bolded, you could create a formatted entry so that when it is inserted it will always retain that formatting. To create a formatted entry, first type the phrase or word in your document as you want it to appear with all of the necessary formatting. Highlight the word or phrase, and then open the autocorrect dialog box. Note that your selection should now appear within the With text box. Click into the Replace text box and type the shortcut entry for the longer phrase. Then click the Option button above the longer entry that says Formatted Text to ensure that you are saving it as a formatted text entry. Once it appears the way that you want it to appear, click the Add button to add it into the autocorrect entry list. To delete an autocorrect entry from the list shown within the autocorrect tab, you simply select the entry that you want to delete. Then press the Delete button in the lower right corner of the autocorrect tab. Once you have finished setting your autocorrect options, you can then click the OK button to close the dialog box and save your changes. You can then click the OK button within the Word Options dialog box to close and save the default proofing options. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.